Hi, Jason here. Things are heating up in the world of chatbots and now Hugging Face has joined in and given us all a free interface for you to be able to chat with various language models. At the moment, they're just giving you one, but if you know Hugging Face, then uh, you know that they have a ton of different models available. If we go to their models right now, there's an absolute ton here uh, for natural language processing. Um, at the moment, their chatbot right here, if we go to start chatting, you don't even need to log in or anything to be able to access this. Um, you've only got access to this, as it says there, the current model is the open assistant model right there. And you may have seen a previous video of mine the other day where I actually tested open assistant here. So we've ran through like a whole load of different uh prompts into this if we click try our assistant again this is free as well you just click create new chat and then you just crack on and start typing but with hugging chat it's a it's a really nice sort of very chat gpt like interface let's be honest look if we go to chat gpt here's my chat gpt plus account it's it's very similar chats on the left all you know dark window and then uh your send a message area down the bottom it looks very, very similar. You can tell it's been based off it um, quite heavily. But then, you know, this is the sort of familiar feel now for this. Um, and, you know, what can it do? Well, like it says here, you know, you've got some examples, write an email from a bullet list, code a snake game, all of that kind of stuff. I just thought I'll, I'll just get it to see if it can just code a very simple website. And so we'll just paste that in there. Can you create a simple website for me using HTML that tells a joke? It's just like a little tester here. There you go. And it's and it's whipping through and doing that quite well. Um, and they all seem to use the same example. Uh, why did the tomato turn red? And I would imagine it would be exactly the same if I did it here on this because it's using the same language model after all. This one over here. Yeah, here we go. So it's, it's whipping it out, joke, yep, why did the tomato turn red? So same sort of thing, but at least it's doing it here, um, which is which is brilliant. And then you can click new chat just at the top left. Um, let's try something different with it this time. Um, write me a 500 word article about electric cars. There we go. And let's see how well it will it'll perform with that. And it looks like it saved my last chat just there. And I would imagine if I click on it, it will just take me back to it. But also there's a little share, um, a share conversation icon there, which is quite cool. So you could literally copy this URL here and then go ahead and just paste it in and someone else can see your chat which I think, you know, is potentially quite useful. And as well, just looking at this, it's managed to whip out this, this article here. I'm just looking here what it's talking about, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, but it's to do with uh, oil prices and components and things. So that's cool. But at the bottom, you can also do it here. Look, it says share this conversation. You just click on it, you get that URL. And then I'm just going to go to it now out of interest just see what it looks like yeah i mean maybe maybe i need to do it in a, an incognito window just to see how someone else would see it let's let's have a little look if you were to send this that's how it would appear so it would just give them straight up the conversation with none of your history attached to it of course which is which is great so obviously hugging face um and now hugging chat it's all about the open source. It's all about trying to make AI and language models like this accessible to everybody. So I don't think it's going to be very long before um, you're going to start seeing some pretty awesome plugins for this uh, because you've got so much going on already on the Hugging Face uh, ecosystem that it, it really wouldn't take too long, I would imagine, to start seeing it all appear here. And, and we may be able to get some really good features coming into this that could make it a genuine competitor. And I'm sure it will be at some point to ChatGPT, which is still, in my opinion, uh, hands down, you know, the best system at the moment. But of course, it's closed off from us. You know, it's open AIs, they own it, and that's it. 
we don't get to access the language model and use it uh, for ourselves unless we're paying them money um, to to access tokens and what have you. But you know, with these other different uh, language models, it might bring about some really interesting developments for us all. And of course, we've still got Bard as well. And Bard this week have announced that they too can do uh, coding. So why don't we just quickly test them while we're at it right here? There you go. Can you create a simple website for me using HTML that tells a joke? Now, surely they're going to do something different. Yes, we have a different joke. Well done. Uh, this one. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Uh, FSH. Okay, yes, it's got no eye in it. Oh, that's really clever. Love it. So, But it has done it, and it did it really quick. I'll probably be doing some more videos on uh, Bard's coding ability. So between all of them now, I mean, let's just try 3.5 while we're there. Oh, there they've just died. And usually it's just a refresh job. I probably had the window open forever and a day uh, and it didn't work. Let's just chuck that in there. Yeah, look how quick that did it. Uh, and why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. Yeah, good, good jokes. Well done. And so there we are. We've now got all of these to use. We've got hugging chat. We've got Open Assistant, um, which is really just a different interface using the same language model right here. And then we've got uh, good old chat GPT. And now we've got Bard as well that we can all use for coding too. And let, well, if you've been approved, of course, um, and you've, you've been accepted off the wait list, which took me quite a while, actually. So I think this is really good news for um, all of us who are looking to use AI and to uh, use these language models to benefit us for our business and our personal lives. And if that's you, by the way, you might want to just jump into my free group, which is just here. We've got over 4,000 members now all geeking out on this stuff like ChatGPT and prompts and different AI videos and news that's coming in here. Uh, constantly, but you can just go and join it for free. There's a link underneath this video. Uh, come and say hi and get involved. We've got some really knowledgeable people in there that are very, very generous with their time. And I've no doubt that uh, someone has already probably mentioned about a uh, hugging chat coming out um, because it's a really exciting development if you're uh, you know, interested in the open source world, which is a very, very vital import, um, important part of the faster development of AI. And it's not all restricted then uh, by big corporates. This is now, you know, giving a lot of people the ability to get involved in this exciting new technology. And I think, you know, hugging, hugging chat, hugging face should be commended for that. So um, that's it for this video. Uh, I'll put a link uh, to this to try out the chat underneath the video. See how you find it. See how well uh, you think it works. It's early days and it's, you know, only using that one language model at the moment. So I'm sure they'll be plugging in loads of them as soon as possible um, just to give way more features and functionality to this open source chat GPT competitor. All right. Thanks for watching. There'll be other videos coming up for you any second now. And please do like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks a lot.